Hi, welcome to C Programming Tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is the continuation of the previous tutorial and we were talking about strings. Um, so if you haven't watched that tutorial, I would highly recommend that y you watch the previous tutorial and the link to that tutorial must be showing up on the screen right now or it must be in the description. Again, this tutorial is, a con is a, a co one of the collection of a large number of tutorials on in this series in C programming tutorial series uh, I would recommend that you watch all of them and if you came here from Facebook I would recommend that you become a fan of the page uh, awesome C programming tutorials in high def and uh, if you uh, if you usually watch the videos on YouTube then I would recommend that you become the uh, you subscribe to the this channel Learnorama uh, the reason I'm asking you to do this is basically this way you will be able to get notified of any new videos that I post. Anyway, so let's get con let's con let's continue. In the previous tutorial, we looked at the concept of a string, how they are represented in memory, and how we are, they are the same as declaring uh, an array of characters, except that at the end of that string we have to store a null terminator. Okay, so 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 we learned uh, about this in the previous tutorial let's see in this tutorial we will we will see how this those strings can be um, can be written what what's the syntax of of those strings so let's let's see so if you want to if you want to store if you want to create so that in general um, in c program strings are actually represented by double quotes like this so you write whatever inside it whatever you want to write you can write in here and that will basically uh, be your string that will tr be treated as a string so here if I have to write the string so hail which is my name um, then that basically gives you this this is how I define that string okay so anywhere where where the compiler would see this as so hail written as so hail that means that we are talking about uh, an array of characters with you know first element containing s second element containing o h a i l followed by the next element which has only zero written in it so so this string which is even though it is six characters long it actually is seven characters long because it has to store zero at the end now what do i have to do if i have to basically uh, w suppose I I want to declare a, an, a a string named name and want to store um, and want to store the value uh, th want to store this name into it so I can do that okay and this should be perfectly okay for the compiler see the compiler compiled it and it's just happy with this so what it does is basically it store it allocates in memory it allocates 11 bytes because it's a it's an array of characters 11 bytes and calls it with its name name and it writes s in the first element o in the second element h in the third element a i l followed by zero which is the null terminator okay now this is what the this is how you do it so but let's let's write a small program where we would basically ask the user to enter a name and then the computer will say hi you know followed by that name so let's learn how to do that so so first thing we have to do is to basically print a message like enter your name okay so that we can tell the user what we want to do so how do we do that we learned we have done it many times before we use this function called printf and write the message like this what next we want to do is to ask the user to enter something so when you have to ask a user to enter something what you could use is scanf so you use scanf to enter so for, for to ask user to enter something and this time and what you have to do in the scanf first thing you have to do is to basically specify the format of the data type that you want to enter so all this time we have been using percent %d because we have been entering numbers or integers but the format specifier for a string is percent %s okay since we want the user to enter a string we want to write percent %s here okay and then followed by the name of the variable where 
the string or whatever that value is entered by the user is going to go. That's what we specify in scanf, right? Format specifier followed by the variable name that is going to hold the value that the user enters. Here we want to store it inside name. And since we are going to be asking the user to enter it, so let's not, we don't even have to initialize it to any any name. Okay, so once the user enters here, we this value of this variable name or this array name or this string name will become its value right here. Okay, and then what we need to do is to basically say hi followed by this name. So how do we do that? We say hi and followed by whatever the user wrote that name. So we have to write the string name here or print the value of this string here. So how do we do that? Whenever we have to print a value of something, we specify the format specifier here. And in the case, in this case, usually we have been doing percent %d because we have been printing out integers all this time or percent %c to print out the characters. But here we have to print out the array of characters with null termination, which means it's we have to print out the string and the string's format specifier is percent %s and then usually we basically bring the cursor to the next line so backslash n okay comma and then we specify which variables we will be printing for these printed uh, these format specifiers so what is the, here instead of here what are we going to print instead of this percent s we are going to be printing the value of the variable name now notice one thing here usually in the scan f i had to i have been telling you to specify put up an m percent before the name of the variable this is true for integers and characters types you know the basic types or the float types okay but here since it's an array we don't have to do that okay so you don't have to specify an m percent here and why is that is it that let's let's not worry about it for now we will learn about it when we will be doing pointers when we'll be doing pointers we'll come back and we will learn about why we have to do it and why not we have to do it okay but for now let's not worry about it we'll just what we'll do is we'll just write the array name so just remember this that if it is an array that we are entering the value for or the string that we are entering the value for you just write the name of the string no m percent before it okay so this is it this is our program let's see if it runs okay there we go we just compiled and run by the way you have to press f9 key to be able to do that so first thing it's doing is asking the user to enter the name okay so here as you can see in this program it says enter your name print f enter your name we don't even need this var this variable declaration i was just trying to explain how the integer variable uh, arrays are created um and then it says print f so first thing it does is it allocates a space in memory with name 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 of that var that allocation is name and how long is that it says 11 bytes and since because we have to we have to use it as a string and a string has a null termination so one byte is going to be used for null termination so your name should be smaller than 10 bytes here okay because the one byte will be used for the null termination then it says okay print this on the screen enter your name so it prints this enter your name and then it says scan f so ask the user to enter or the expect the user to enter the name so i write the name here okay you can write whatever you want as long as it has less than 10 characters and then I press enter so at that point the value of name becomes so hell and then it comes here it says hi it prints hi as is and then it says percent s for the value of the name of the variable name name okay so it writes whatever the user entered here so hell so see how we entered a string and then printed out that value. All right, so we will continue with this uh, tutorial in the next video. I really appreciate you watching it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like it, please, please do uh, rate five star and do leave some comments on Facebook so that I know that there is out there somebody who is liking my tutorials. Thank you so much. Bye.